Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you how to make some dishcloths using the Scrubology Scrub It yarn. I purchased this yarn from Hobby Lobby and it's a nylon textured yarn. So if you um, don't have a Hobby Lobby, you can use any type of cotton yarn to create this project. I did a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and you're going to start by making yourself a slip knot and placing that onto your crochet hook. Okay. Once you have that placed, you're going to go ahead and do a foundation chain of an even number plus one. Okay. So just go ahead and continue until you get that. Once you have it, you should have something that looks kind of like this. And you're going to start this project by doing a single crochet stitch in that second stitch right there from the hook. See right there. Just do a single crochet stitch. All right, then you're going to do a double crochet stitch. So yarn over, you're going to insert the hook into the stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and then pull through two. In the next stitch, you're going to do a single crochet stitch. So you're going to just insert your crochet hook, pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and then a double. So this stitch that we're working is called a lemon peel stitch and I've worked this stitch before on my on my channel but this is this is one I'm going to use to make a dishcloth. So you're going to continue doing a single crochet stitch and then a double crochet stitch down this first row. Okay. Now this yarn does work up and it's a little stiff, but it's okay. It still works up really good. It's actually easy to work with. So let me show you guys something here. See what it's looking like? I'm going to continue working down the row. But just for instance, say you're working this project and then you put it down and you come back and you're trying to figure out where you are. Your double crochet stitches are going to have two loops. Your single crochet stitches are going to have one. So you see there's two there as to the one with the single and then two for the double. So as you kind of start looking at the project, you'll be able to determine, like if I put it down and I come back to it, you'll be able to see, okay, if it has two loops, then I just did a double crochet stitch, which means I need to now do a single crochet stitch. So go ahead and continue working, and then when you get back, let's work at towards the end. Okay, we're here at the end, and we're going to do a double crochet stitch. Once you get to the end, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. All right, so we have our first row completed. Now we're going to start on our second row. In that very first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet stitch and then follow that by a double crochet stitch. Okay. Right there, single. And then we're going to do a double. So as you can see right off the bat with this project, just three minutes in, we're pretty much doing a very easy, consistent pattern. You're going to continue doing your single crochet and your double crochet stitches all the way down. So go ahead and pause your video. And I'll just come back on a few more times just to make sure that you know and you got it down. So once you get here to the end, again, we're going to end with a double crochet stitch. So the way I do the lemon peel stitch, I always make sure that I end my rows with a double crochet stitch and I always start my row with a single crochet stitch. That kind of helps me not have to always remember, you know, which stitch I'm on as well. So right there in the beginning, you're going to do a single crochet stitch. And then your double. And you all, this is a really neat pattern. Very simple, the stitch works up really nicely. So this would work well for, like I say, this dishcloth that we're doing. It will work well for a baby blanket. It would work well for cardigans. So anything that you kind of want a tighter stitch for, the lemon pill stitch is perfect. Okay, so that way, if you end with a double crochet and begin with a single crochet, your ends tend to line up really well. So this is what we have and what it's looking like at this point. Now we're going to change yarn. So go ahead and start like you're going to do a double crochet stitch 
and then you're going to go ahead and add the color that you want and then pull through. So slow that down and back up if you didn't catch it, but that's how I did the ch color change for this particular video. You're gonna go ahead and chain one, turn your work, and then continue your pattern. However, I'm gonna carry the yarn with me as I walk across. That way I can just start with my color green again. So as you can see there, I'm still doing my double crochet stitch, but I'm carrying the green and the white yarn down a little bit so that way when I get to the end of this row I can start right back over using the green yarn. So as you can see there white is what we're working with but I'm carrying that green yarn right there along with me. See how it's lying right there on top? Now if you're new to crocheting, it does get a little bit, like you have to think about it a little bit, but it's not hard to carry it. If you find that it's just getting in your way, you can always cut the yarn, tie it back on wherever you need it, okay? So that's what it's looking like as I carry the white. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that green, I mean, sorry, and drop the white and just work with the green, carrying the green along. Once I get here to the end, I'm going to go ahead and do my chain of one using the green, and then I'm gonna pick back up that green color and keep working. So we're just gonna continue doing the pattern of the lemon peel stitch, single and then a the double crochet, single and then a double crochet. And just work that all the way down until you get to the end of the row, making sure that you end with a double crochet at the very end. Okay. So here at the very end, I'm just gonna chain one, turn my work, and then I'm just gonna do a row of single crochet stitches. So I start off slow here, I'm gonna pick up speed a little bit because I think you probably know how to do a single crochet stitch at this point. <laughs> and that's pretty much how we're gonna end the project. So finish off the row, and then you're gonna go ahead and um, fasten it off. And then let me just show you all something really real quick. I went into Hobby Lobby just to get yarn and I always come up with something different. Look at these little scissors. Aren't these the cutest little things? They come with a little sheaf to actually cover the pointed part. 99 cents. I couldn't pass it up. Anyway, so go ahead and cut your yarn and then all you're going to do is just fasten off, weave in all your ends and that's it. Perfect gift, perfect dishcloth. Any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Written pattern will be on my website and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.